having us in your incredible country. Um, we're looking forward to the match. We know we have to play against uh, Tanzania's most successful team in the, in the history of Tanzanian football with 29 titles. We also know that uh, they're playing their first quarterfinal, I think, in competitions or Champions League since 19, 1970. But of course, the third uh, quarterfinal for the club in their history. We know what it means to the Tanzanian people. We know what it means to the club, and uh, uh, we are ready for what will be a very difficult match, for sure. Questions? Welcome to Tanzania. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'd like to ask you, please, uh, your name and your media. My name is Shabir Daniel. I'm from Mutani TV. I'd like to ask you uh, the experience of winning African Football League Championship uh, this year. How much will that experience help you aside and yourself? progressing uh, all the way to winning maybe uh, this time Cup Champions League? Yeah, football, you're, you're only as good as your last uh, performance. And uh, if, we let, if we rest too much on our laurels and we expect experience to play, we'll be in big trouble. And so we have to go into the game and uh, rely on our abilities and play football and, and understand how difficult it's going to be. But also trust in our abilities. You know, we know we are a good team. We've got a lot of good players, and we work very hard with our preparation. And of course, that uh, is probably the most important thing. Yes. Thank you, Coach, and welcome to Tanzania again. My name is Mandela from Efata TV. Hi, Mandela. I would like to ask you, uh, you are going to play against the Young Africans, one of the ambitious clubs, uh, turning a lot of impossibility to possibility last season, even this season. And the Mammal Sundowns, they pose a lot of threat out there, the, outside their league, uh, being one of the big clubs. Going to play against Young Africans, who seems to be ambitious, does it give you a lot of cautions, cautions, and uh, are you going to respect them uh, based on their last season uh, successful and this year uh, their progress? Yeah, no, for sure. We, we have to approach every game with uh, a lot of humility. That humility is what drives us to give a lot of respect to the opposition. And of course, uh, we know they're a very, very good side. They did incredibly well in the Confederations Cup last season. It's a team that's now also trying to win its third league title in a row and doing very well in the domestic competition. And even though they are they are a couple of games behind, they are still within the race uh, with Azam and Simba. So it uh, looks very, very interesting. I watched uh, their games against Simba. I watched the last, uh, second last game against Azam uh, where they lost 2-1. But I think they played it really, really well. And uh, they have some very good players, and uh, you can see the step of coaching with uh, Coach Kamondi. And, and that already gives you the importance of, of, of going into the game with a lot of, of humility. But being brave and being intense and uh, trying to win the game, and that's what we always try to do. We are not here to, we're not here to, to make up the numbers and participate in a festival. We are here to play football and, and to play football to win. And that's the mentality we carry in all our games and um, that's definitely the, the approach. But of course, coupled with a lot of respect for what the club has done, the quality of their players, the quality and uh, the work ethic in the, in the coaching uh, department. And, and so with a lot of humility and respect, we know that we, we can carry on with our talent because we also have a very good team. 
uh, we are also extremely ambitious as a club and uh, we want to we wanna also write our own history, you know, so uh, that you have to do on the pitch and, and we understand the mandate and we understand the responsibility that we carry. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, coach. Afternoon, uh, sir. Clive Chazes, my name from Uganda. Yes, sir. You play Saturday after the game today with the way you want your team to play. How do you envision the kind of condition that pitch will be in tomorrow? And in the event it is not in the condition that you prefer, do you have a plan B on how to approach young and get the result that you want? <laughs> The plan, the plan is to win the match, and if that if that is plan A, I would really struggle to find a plan B, because the plan is to win the match. Uh, I don't think there's any other plan except to do what we can do to win the match. Good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon. I'm Diana from Monash Communication. Apart from Zwane, who will miss the tomorrow's match because of having three yellow cards, who else will also uh, miss the tomorrow match because of any circumstances or is sick or injury? Who, who is sick? Zwane. Zwane. Apart from Zwane, who will miss the tomorrow's match because oh. of having three yellow cards, who else? We also miss the tomorrow's match because of any reason. No, we're in a good space at the moment, so everyone is fit and uh, and uh, ready for the game. Yeah. Good afternoon, Coach Ulani. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Salum Pelengo from Channel Ten and Magic FM. Hi, Salum. Um, you're in a space of a knockout game, the same situation that it was in the last uh, season uh, when you were meeting Wider. Um, what happened in the first leg changed everything in the second leg and you are eliminated from the tournament last season. What is the plan against uh, this first leg um, here in Dar es Salaam against in Africans? Is it finishing the match here in Dar es Salaam or seeing possibilities of the second game in Pretoria? Well, ideally you want to try to do everything you can to finish the game with the tie in the first leg, ideally. But we all know how difficult life can be. Life is not uh, an ideal scenario all the time. And of course, because uh, the opponent is a very good opponent, I mean, when I, uh, I mean, you watch all the games in the group stages against Al Ahly, against Midyama, against Bolivar, all the home games, they play extremely different to how they play away. Uh, the only time I think they played something very similar away uh, is when they played Al Ahly, when they played with a, a back three, with wing backs. Uh, both Mutambala and Yao are very aggressive on the on the sides. But of course, they have uh, a very aggressive midfield with Aucho, who is extremely experienced. And maybe if they go to a back four, they've got uh, two centre backs that are very, very good, both on the ground and in defending duels in uh, Ibrahim and, and Job. Uh, in the midfield, Mutadir, the number 27, is very aggressive in getting into the box. Uh, Maxi, the number seven, is, is very skillful, fast, aggressive with the dribbles and drives into the box and creates a lot of things. And then, you know, up front, they've got so many options with um, Zize, with uh, Azizki, with uh, Musonda, who is their top goal scorer, Gwede, the other striker, as backup. And then even possibilities of uh, having Zozoa, you know, so it's a good team with a lot of very good players and, and, and we've, done, we've done the work that we can do. They can hurt you on set pieces, very good delivery, especially from Yao, uh, the 21, the right back. And the physicality and the, and the aggression with the creativity, with uh, Mosonda with the goals, Quede with the movement. Sise with the, the triples, uh, Maxi also, the, the seven, very aggressive in arriving in the box. 
So a good team and one that we know it will be very difficult to 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 finish the tie in the first leg because it's a team that at any moment uh, can create chances. I was listening even to the commentary and the, the commentator always says uh, Aziz key with the master key, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that's the that's the that's the profile of the team we have to we have to be ready for. Silence, please. Silence, please. Silence, please. Coach, good, good afternoon. My name is Athman Kinyandu from Tanzania Broadcasting Corporation. You have declared, you have declared that Yanga is a good team. Do you apply to play against them? my time now to welcome you to Zanya, like you did last week. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, Coach, uh, VAR will be available in this match. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I think it's good. I think VAR comes in at a very good time. Where, after upon the level of the officiating was, was magnificent. Uh, we had we had even one of the best coaches in the world, Jose Mourinho, speaking about the quality of VAR and how the referees handled uh, the uh, Cup of Nations. And really, I, I hope that because of the standard that has been put there, I hope the ref because it's the same referees that we're doing. I mean, I was watching some of the games during uh, AFCON, and I saw a lot of familiar faces with the referees, and I said, oh, uh, this referee is, is actually better than I've seen him officially. And some, you think, uh, you know, very good, and he should be there. Others, you think before the game starts, you think, but why is this referee doing such important games in the in the FCON? And then he surprises you with a magnificent performance. So hopefully they continue like that because they've been amazing, and particularly in the in the Cup of Nations. And hopefully the the standard of officiating, the influence of the VAR, stays at that level where the rest of the world is trying to say, actually, this is how VAR should be used to influence the performance of the referees, you know, and minimize mistakes. So hopefully that happens. And uh, let's see, let's see how it goes. I need the new face. Yes. It's okay, wait. I need the new face. Coach, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Sostene Sindungur from Rocky Media. Yeah, it is the first time you are coming uh, to play with the Tanzanian team in the quarter final. Uh, I want to know your attitudes against Young. How do you rate them? How do you perceive the young Africans taking the country as a coach? Well, I think it's a good team. Uh, very aggressive offensively with uh, a lot of very good players. I mean, you have already spoken about the individuals and some of the players. Uh, there's a lot of experience also in the midfield, uh, some Tanzanian internationals. Uh, Azizki is a Bukinabe international, so he also. Uh, Aucho is a Ugandan international. Uh, so there's, they've got a lot of internationals in their team, a lot of experience, and um, we, we know we've got a, it's going to be a difficult game, no doubt about it. But but we are ready. We are sundowns, and the more difficult it is for us, the better, because then it's a good test to see what level are we at. Are we really at the level that we perceive ourselves to be? You know. But let's see tomorrow, because the game is always played on the pitch, and uh, we're looking forward to to the encounter. Excited to be here. Excited to play in a in a full stadium that's going to be branded with a lot of yellow. Uh, and that yellow it can easily be sundowns is yellow and we're looking forward to that. One last question for the coach. Good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon, madam. Okay, my name is Beth Swagger from Banara TV. Coach, uh, we know Mamelody 
ha, has been here be, has been here before so this is not the first time to play a match in Tanzania how difficult it is to play in Tanzanian pitch no the last time we were here was a couple of months ago we played against uh, Bumamuru and uh, it was a diff different pitch but we the, the conditions were the same we enjoyed our time here we won a lot of hearts uh, and a lot of supporters and which was amazing to see because as we walked off the pitch we got a standing ovation and hopefully tomorrow we can do the same not only just in the hearts of the Tanzanian people who are it's incredible how much you guys love football you know uh, but also at the same time we want to win the match so hopefully tomorrow we are able not only to win your hearts but we can uh, also win the match. Okay.